Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Today's topic is going to be how far can you push a secondhand 2060? So on the Facebook marketplace, I got this for 250 bucks, um, some Zotac model, not sure. But um, it's pretty disgusting. The guy didn't really take care of it. The box has like vape juice on it and stuff. It's pretty gross. But I tested it, it turned on, ran a benchmark, works fine. Um, whenever you buy something secondhand in person, make sure you always test the card and don't just make sure it has a display out. Make sure you actually run a stress test because people will do crazy things like flash BIOSes and fake things and just who knows, just always make sure you test the card. And if they always give you the runaround to, you know, well, we don't have time to test it or whatever, just, just don't, just don't do it. Um, eBay, you're pretty much fine. You're good to go mining cards, whatever. Um, go ahead and order it. Uh, eBay always has buyer protection. So you're good there. As soon as you get the card, stress test it for a couple of hours, just put it under load and see what happens. And if it blows up, then just send it back and you're fine. So don't really worry about that. Um, so what's the plan for today? The plan is we're going to run these benchmarks all stock, just how I got it with the dust and grease in hand. Um, we're going to take it apart. We are going to clean it. We're going to shunt mod it. We're going to repaste it with some cryo knot. And then we'll look at the before and after on how much performance you can squeeze out of this thing. And let's go.
while this is going, I just want to do a little commentary. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was when you are getting a new card or especially one that's, you know, been out for two years like Turing has, um, there's usually some form of uh, updated BIOS for your card that you can flash. Uh, not necessarily up to date, but one with a higher power limit. You always want to search for those. Um, it you want to how do I put this? You want to match the display outs of both cards. So let's say this one has one HDMI and three Display Ports. You want to find a BIOS that also has one HDMI and three Display Ports. You can flash other port outputs with other cards but then you might shut off one or two of your ports it depends if it matters to you or not um it like if you might get an extra 30 or 40 percent power limit but it shuts off one of your display port ports then i mean who cares just do it right one thing you might be noticing or maybe not be noticing is when i am tightening back the card down i'm tightening it in a crisscross pattern uh, you definitely want to do that when you're tightening something down on a die, so it applies even pressure. Uh, if you if you tighten it down from, let's say, left to right or something, you, it's just a gong show. It might not even work. Uh, I mean, it'll work, but one side of your die might be a little bit more lifted than the other side, and then you might have some hot spots that won't even register, and you might even clock lower. I've had that happen quite a few times. Well, that's it for this one. Um, pretty disappointed, not gonna lie. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, no matter how much voltage I shoved into that thing, it really only hit 20, 40 megahertz. I tried a EVGA BIOS, I tried a Founders Edition one, I tried the new Zotac one, they all capped right at that 20, 40 mark. Uh, so you're not gonna get much out of modding this thing, which is odd. Uh, if you're looking in the market for a 2060, I would get the KO one from EVGA. I've modded quite a few of those already, and they have all hit 2100 megahertz, no problem. Um, so I'm assuming that even those cut down T T104 dies, they're still better than the regular TU106 ones in, in terms of clock speed, which is really interesting. So. Yeah, if you're in the market for 2060, get the KO. That's my recommendation. Um, yeah, if you like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions about your hardware or how you can push a little bit more out of it, comment down below and I'll try and get to it. And yeah, chase those frames, my friends. Talk to you guys later.